Okay. All right, we've started, we've made our chain. See, it's hanging down. I can't see it. All right, we've made the chain. That's your first row. Then we made our turn, which we did four of them to come up to where we actually started with our pattern. And we're going in every other hole. You, you go in one, and when you're through with that, when you skip one, you go in the next one. When you go in the next one, you see you have three, you have three up here on the needle. One in the back and the two in the front. You grab your thread, pull it through the first two, grab the thread again, pull it through the last two. And you're going back in that hole again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, let's see. All right, there's that one. Two, through the first two, through the last two. In the same hole, pull it through, go through the first two, go through the next two. And you're going, got to skip a hole. So you're going in this one. All right, you're going through the first two, going through the last two back in the same hole, wrap the thread. When you go in that hole, wrap. be sure you wrap your thread around your needle because you're gonna be pulling it through that, that hole. So if you don't, you won't have your loop up there. All right, through the first two, through the last two. Now then, gonna skip the next hole, go on in this one. Through the first two, through the last two, back in the same hole. Ooh, did I get in the same hole? Yeah, okay. In the same hole, through the first two, through the last two. Now then, you're almost at the end of your chain, so, uh, and like I said, I'm not professional by no means. If it gets to the end and I, you, you want to have your pattern at the end. So even though I'm not skipping a hole there because there's just two loops, I'm going in that last hole, pulling it through. I'll pull it through my first two, pull it through my next two, go back in the hole again. I'm fixing to make my turn and head back the other way. And when you get your first row, uh -oh, let's don't do that other one. You've got, that's what your first row is gonna look like. Now, you'll have to gauge your, your pull because the way you pull it is gonna determine whether you have a bigger pattern or a tighter pattern. I worked with one girl that when she got through, I don't think hers was about like that. And it was, she, she had a lot of work to do to make a full blanket or a throw. But you're at the end of it now. Did you do your turn already? Nope, I'm fixing to do the turn. Okay. Now, you're at the end, so you've got to go up. You've got one on your hook. Now you're gonna do four more. You're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna switch and head back the other direction. Now, you see your four, it's going up. You're gonna yeah. skip. Show that again, I covered the skips, okay. Okay, there's your four, okay. that's, that's your turn. Okay. You're going, and see it's on the end, it's on the very end. So you're gonna skip this next one and you're going in this one. 